Well, the Rittenhouse trial has been a complete farce and a stark reminder of the state of our justice system. Too <laughs> wet and never trust a prosecutor. God, I wrote these dudes off as soon as they brought up violent video games last week. Like, <laughs> what year is it? What are they going to do next? Ask about gangster rap? Call Marilyn Manson to the stand? Are you kidding me? And then their closing arguments included scenes from a Patrick Swayze movie. Like, this is the right hand of justice? Jesus Christ. To say nothing of the comically biased judge in the case. Like, if that guy was a villain in an Aaron Sorkin movie, critics would be roasting how on the nose that character is. No one whose ringtone is Lee Greenwood <laughs> has a nuanced and even-handed philosophy on gun rights, okay? That mother probably thinks every American middle schooler should be armed, and now he's presiding over the case of the murderous mama's boy. It's bullshit. <laughs> the whole thing's been ridiculous, and it would be laughable if it wasn't abjectly terrifying, both because you realize that these same factors, incompetent attorneys, prejudiced judges, have conspired to ruin countless lives of those less pasty and privileged in this country <laughs> over the years, <laughs> and also because of the implications it has for the future, and I'm not talking about riots. I know the right is lapping it up right now. You, as soon as he's found not guilty, you know the left's going to burn everything down, and we would never riot. Yeah, no. Now, to get y'all to riot, we'd have to do something truly egregious, like remove the bust of a slave owner or announce the results of a free and fair election. That's what it takes to get y'all to reach for the tiki torches. Kiss <laughs> my ass. I'm talking about all the future written houses out there. And they are legion, buddy. They're out there right now all around this country, pudgy and mediocre, getting <laughs> cut from sports teams and shot down by would-be prom dates, and they're watching this shit with bated breath, wiping the crumbs off their Punisher shirt and daydreaming about making their own mark on the world. <laughs> And after seeing how it's gone for Rittenhouse, how he's been lauded as a hero, why wouldn't they try to follow suit? Why wouldn't they go down to the assault rifle store on the corner and strap up, get some other shit with skulls on it, and head to the nearest protest to play vigilante? After all, in their world, it's always open season on Antifa. And now the rest of us got to deal with this fucking mayonnaise militia at every peaceful <laughs> protest from now until the start of the probable second fucking civil war. So for that and myriad other reasons, I say, to hell with Kyle Rittenhouse. Love y'all. <laughs> Check out her, everybody. <laughs> Trey, Trey Crowder, appearing in Lexington, Kentucky. Look it up. Go if you're in the region, if you're in the area. Lexington, Kentucky, the Trey Crowder Show. Yes. All that was missing from that rant was uh, a reference to Judas Priest and Rob Halford. <laughs> it's just so good. But, uh, yes, the jury now has the case. The jury with the ridiculous instructions that were mangled and mutilated and folded and spindled by this uh, crackpot of a judge, this, uh, you know, wackadoodle who is posing as a judge, a 74, five year old judge who is a classic boomer who can't figure out that zooming in on your iPhone doesn't change the actual photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, wow. So this is unbelievable. Uh, I will tell you, there is some good news as the right embraces the most vile people, the worst members of society among us. That is what the right is, uh, you know, all about now, right? I mean, the, the, the unsympathetic teen who, uh, you know, ended up killing two people and blowing the, the bicep off of a third, a colleague who proudly harasses uh, school shooting uh, survivors. Oh, that would be Alex Jones. That is where the good news comes in. All right, this is really, this is crazy. But it's, it, it, th th they're doing this on purpose to make their point. Uh, and they are the right wing, and they are the conspiracy theorists, and they are the worst among us, okay? So Alex Jones lost his case against the Sandy Hook parents. And wait, before you applaud, before you think, oh, see, justice can be done in these United States of America. No, no, not really. The way that the Sandy Hook parents prevailed against Alex Jones in two states, Connecticut and Texas, is because Alex Jones did what every single Trump insider is doing, what Mark Meadows is doing, what uh, Steve Bannon is doing. They are not complying with court orders. Alex Jones lost his case by default. This case, okay, Sandy Hook, for those of you who need a refresher course for when the actual current event broke my heart and told me as an observer of American politics and an observer of American culture 
that we were doomed was way back in 2012. 2012 is when 26th graders were, were shot in school and six teachers were also killed. 26 people in the blink of an eye uh, with a semi-automatic rifle, okay? And the NRA and the Republicans in the House, in the Senate, and in the country took the side of the semi-automatic rifle over the 20 dead children. And that, I knew, was game over. Game over for American culture. Guess who won? Yeah, the gun, the gun. The gun is the symbol, the gun is everything, the gun is the culture, the gun is the GOP, the gun, the gun. Not you, not your children. They don't care about children. Like I said, they love the fetus, hate the child. And that's when that became a thing with me. So in 2018, six years later, finally, there was no, uh, you know, uh, stopping Alex Jones from getting on his show every single freaking day saying that it didn't even happen. It didn't even happen. It was a false flag. And it was something that the left concocted to beat back the dissemination of semi-automatic rifles. That's what it was. It was a false flag operation so that the government would then be pressured to put back the assault weapons ban that expired after a mere 10 years. And that the children that were killed were actually crisis actors. They were actors, everybody. So the parents, uh, you know, uh, sued eight uh, eight of the parents, actually 10 in two different states, in Connecticut and in Texas, where Alex Jones is. And uh, to, yesterday, the state court in Connecticut granted a victory to the families of the eight that sued there. Uh, Sandy Hook, as you know, was in Newtown, Connecticut, because Alex Jones refused court orders over and over and over again since 2018 till now. He has refused to turn over the documents that he was subpoenaed to turn over, and he's refused to appear. Alex Jones doesn't appear here. No, not in a court of law. He ain't raising his right hand and taking an oath to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And he will not give you any documents to show exactly where did the money come from uh, with regard to uh, this whole charade, charade, uh, having to do with this crisis actor story. Like, who was supporting that story? And who, you know, where was the money coming from? I mean, I think we all understand that what he sells is like uh, supplements, diet supplements, and, and, and you know, uh, uh, survival gear and merch, okay? So how in the world is he really making his money? And that is one of the aspects of this case. He, they were uh, looking to find the answer to that question out to see if there was any sort of, uh, you know, content that would, you know, or, or any sort of uh, money evidence that uh, would show that he was being paid handsomely by, low, well, let's say, gun groups, generally, to uh, do this. Well, he wouldn't turn over any documents. He, he, he prevented the court from collecting evidence that would show how his business works and why he engaged in this long, long campaign against the families and the relationship between that and his profitability. That is what the court wanted to know. That is what the plaintiffs wanted to know. And he just refused. He just refused. Now, did a marshal go and arrest him? Oh, no. Oh, hell no. But in the end, he lost the case by default, by default for not appearing, for not showing up. And today he says, we need to defend all of our speech rights. We have to be able to say whatever we want. That's the First Amendment. Then show up in court and make that case. Make that case. But oh no, he didn't want to show up. And this is a pattern now. This is the pattern, this is the practice of the right wing. They are signaling to their Al-Qaeda's, to their base, ignore the courts. Don't show up. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.